I would say, obviously shooting. You know, that's that's everybody's big take on me. You know, I'm I want to be a shooter, so uh, I'm gonna say shooting, uh, attacking the basket more often, uh, being more assertive, and uh, picking my spots. You know, where I can actually really excel at, and just not getting bored with scoring off of that every play. <laughs> Ah, uh, it, it's a uh, it, it's deeper than accolades. Uh, you know, everybody in this league chases something, and uh, you know, I'm just this is motivation. Uh, you know, I love when people doubt me. Uh, I feel like a chip will make a monster. So, you know, I try to find stuff that'll motivate me. Like uh, UD's rebounding record. Since I'm gonna be UD today, uh, you know that's motivation. Um, you know, seeing what D Wade has done in his career in Miami. You know, that's motivation. That's something I want to do. That's something I want to be a part of and get the experience with. So, uh, yeah, I don't think that 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 chip will ever leave. Um, you know, it's embedded in me. Any other questions in the room? All right, we'll take some questions via Zoom. And we'll start with David Ramil with Locked on Heat. Hey, Bam. Uh, congratulations on your offseason. Uh, I was just wondering, what were some of the things that you were able to take away from your Team USA experiences, and how do you think you can apply them to this regular season? Uh... What's something I can take away from the Olympics? Uh, I don't know. It was uh, – the Olympics was very different this year. So uh, wear your mask. Um, from the experience, I would say just the, you know, the level of confidence that, uh, you know, everybody walked around with. You know, because knowing that we were team Team USA and knowing what we had to be done, so I feel like if everybody walks around with uh, that type of mentality, that type of character, um, you know, we got a chance to be a great team. All right. Up next, we'll go to Azim Masgood with Heat.com. Uh, hi, Bam. What's up, everyone, hey, everyone expects uh, Kyle Lowry to help make things easier for you guys in the offense. How do you think you're going to make the game easier for Kyle? Uh, I said great screens, you know. Uh, that, I think that's a great thing for uh, Kyle. You know, gets him open, gets downhill. Uh, he really likes that pocket three. So, uh, set great screens, and then every once in a while, he doesn't have to be the point guard all the time. Uh you know, he can get an action thrown at him where he can, you know, be a scorer. And uh, instead of passing, he can score. All right, next we'll go to Wes Goldberg with Locked on Heat. Hey, Bam. Um, you mentioned not getting bored with kind of picking your spots and, and scoring from certain areas of the floor. Was that something you felt like you, you were a little bored with some spots on the floor last year? And do you have – maybe numbers that you want to hit from a scoring perspective this season? Uh, I wouldn't say bored, but I did uh, at times, you know, go on like a scoring streak from one spot and I would go away from it. So, uh, you know, just being able to just keep doing that and not uh, going away from it, just staying consistent with it. And uh, I do not have a number yet. Uh, I got asked that earlier. I'm going I'm to figure that out. Thank you. Uh, I feel like it was great for Tyler. You know, he's got time to actually hone in on his work and his work ethic. And I could definitely tell throughout the summer that he's been working, uh, putting up shots and uh, getting better.
Uh, he's one of those kids. He's got that. He's got that dog in him. Uh, you know, he's one of those guys. He 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 sees a lot of the doubt and a lot of the hate, and he wants to prove people wrong. So, you know, he I feel like he's going into the season with a bigger chip on his shoulder than he had before. All right, next we'll go via Zoom to Mateo Mayorga. Hello, Bam. Speaking on the things that motivate you, how much does getting invited to the All-Star game this year fuel you? Uh, because I didn't make it last year, it definitely fuels me. Um, you know, but if we win, I feel like winning take care of a lot of that. So, uh, yeah, my goal is to win so I can be an All-Star. All right, up next we'll go to Naveen with uh, the Rappler Philippines. Hey, Bam. You mentioned earlier how you want to be more of a shooter. That's how you want to expand your game a little bit. Um, you've averaged less than one three-point attempt per game throughout your career. I was just curious if we're going to see more three-point attempts from you this coming season, considering you want to be more of a shooter. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next we'll yeah. go to Brady Hawk with Five Reasons Sports. Hey, Ben. You've obviously had a great offensive connection with Duncan over the years with that dribble handoff. Just where do you see that expanding this season for both of you with the way you bounce off each other on that side? Uh, you know, I feel like the connection is just going to keep building, you know, especially he's here from, what, five, five more years? It's five? Yeah, here for five more years. So, uh, you know, just keep building that connection and uh, just kind of a lethal threat. And I feel like as our games grow, that's what makes it more lethal and uh, gives it a better opportunity to just be unstoppable. All right, Bam, that's it. Thank you. Black Lives Matter, people.